I'm an agent at Janko Nesbit UK, which is the kind of small boutique arm off of um, Janko Nesbit Associates over in the US, which has been around since the 70s, um, representing people like Malcolm Gladwell, Anne Rice, Daniel Steele, um, and a whole host of amazing huge authors. And they started Janko UK about 13 years ago. Um, and there's only five agents there at the moment. Um, and we're kind of tasked with finding great sort of British, sort of being on the ground, finding great British debuts. Um, and also being closer to Europe means we can kind of tap into those markets as well. Um, I am there as an agent. Uh, my list is very commercial, I would say. Um, so anything that's kind of plot driven. Um, I represent kind of fiction, like crime, YA, uh, psychological suspense, thrillers, uh, middle grade. And on the non-fiction side, um, I do any kind of brilliant, exciting personal stories or people with amazing kind of platforms or cookery book or lifestyle. It's kind of an amazing job for that because you can just dip into sort of all of these amazing areas of interest and interesting people. What's kind of amazing about Janko is it's kind of, we've got a small agency in terms of number of people, but it's kind of a big agency like across the pond. So we're kind of very, very powerful and kind of have this huge reach, but actually the team itself is very small and intimate. And one of the major benefits of that is that because we have the support of this big US mothership, we get to be very, very selective about the books we take on. We don't take on very, very many. We don't have that many clients on our roster, so we can give all of our clients lots of time for editing, lots of kind of one-on-one -on -one time. We can be very, very selective about what we take on. Um, and it gives us lots of time to be kind of like out doing events like this and sort of reading and talking to people and seeking out people rather than just waiting for them to sort of come into us. So from day one there we've all been kind of brought up to be very editorial agents. There's not very many books that come through us that don't go through at least kind of two or three rounds of editing before we would even show it to editors. And you're absolutely right, like being able to see the potential in something and say look this isn't the right book for you to launch your career on. Let's get together and think of a really cool book idea that would be the right thing and then maybe that one might come later like you know I've watched agents at Janklo kind of sit on the floor with whole manuscripts and take them to pieces and put them back together again and I don't think you get that in every agency just because the lists are so big and they've got their superstars and the kind of breaking in even to the agency list is, is difficult um, so yeah it's a really great place to work. <laughs> I think because my personal reading tastes are very commercial and very kind of plot driven. What I'm looking for is an idea for a book that has a very simple but very, very clever idea at its heart and executed brilliantly, obviously. But, you know, the kind of books that we see flying at, at Frankfurt Book Fair or internationally, these, the, the kind of books that go on to make kind of big commercial best selling films are the ones with a very, very simple, clever idea at their heart. Like, a, like, a bit of cringe but we talk a lot about elevator pitches if you can summarize the, the absolutely unique selling point of your book in one sentence or one example it's so easy to sell it's so easy to tell someone in one sentence what the hook of that book is and why that's the one that you should pick up in the bookshelf rather than one that's kind of complicated to explain or piece together or is a bit like this and a bit like that if it's very confidently just a really cool idea then I'm in <laughs> As an agent, personal reading time is kind of very few and far between. Um, and actually, all I find myself reading in my personal time is psychological suspense, because obviously it's such a booming part of the market at the moment. And I'm just desperately trying to read loads and loads to try and think of what's going to be next or how that's going to progress as a kind of area of the market. And actually, I read um, a book called Black Eyed Susans, which I just loved. It's actually a book that came over from the US and did pretty well here, but I think should have done much better, because I just think it's really smart, clever, interesting psychological suspense kind of crime. Um, yeah, and I've just got the second one too as well. <laughs>